What's up everybody, this is Monarch again with Rezogun Defenders DLC. The game has changed a lot since the last time we recorded a video on this, so I'm going to go ahead and introduce you to all the new elements. Let's jump right in. First thing we can automatically see is there's new options actually. For the settings, we now have the screenshot logo, because now there is a photo mode. Uh, introduced in the Challengers update, which came alongside the Defenders DLC. Okay, so the screenshot logo, I'm assuming, I haven't actually gotten into it, is that when you take a photo mode, I'm assuming it's just going to leave the screenshot on the screen, you know? So, onwards, we have new audio settings, I do believe. We have Protector Music and Command of Voices. So I have a music you can change as well now. I don't know if you could have done that before, because I didn't really get into it that much, but hey. There's new extras. We have new humans. We can actually see all the humans. Uh, I didn't sign in on the two days that they got bonus humans on accident, but hey, what can you do? And you can actually unlock concept art now, which is amazing because this game is known for its artwork and it's amazing that we can now unlock concept art. Next thing we got is the weekly challenge. We can actually do challenges now. So these new challenges bring in a new element to the game. There's now rank ups, as you can see at the top of my screen. You can see that I'm still a recruit. I haven't played yet. I made sure to wait until you guys were here. But anyways, we can now do weekly challenges that give us credit boosts, our credit points, which will boost up our ranks, which adds a whole new depth to the game, and which is amazing. Okay, we have new multiplayer options. We can do public online co-op, and you can do it with survival. We can do it every single one of the things that was introduced. We have now arcade and single level which were from the base game. Survival from the Heroes DLC. Battle, I'm assuming that's fight fighting each other which is from this new Defenders DLC which I won't be able to show today sadly. We have Commando and Protector which we will be showing today. Then you have private online co-op, local co-op and online challenges. Then you have your single player stuff, this is what we're getting to. So of course there is a new menu for all this. This was arcade and single level introduced in the base game as you can see with the blue. Green is stuff in the Heroes DLC, which we went over in the last video, Survival and Demolition. And then we have Commando and Protector introduced today. And then we have Challenges that we can go through. Your human looking for is another ca castle. Oh, it's a nice little reference. All enemy groups hold humans. Save as many as you can. Okay, and then we have Feats, which are little, like, awards, basically. So you complete all res of gun defenders, challenges, stuff like that. So let's jump into gameplay actually, we're going to start off with protector mode. I have no clue what either of these modes are, so, oh look, there's a new option menu for stock ships, Phobos, Ferox, and Nemesis of course, and then we have my ships, which of course I made the Arcadian, I actually downloaded an Ion Cat, and then I made the Guardian. We're going to go ahead and jump into with the Arcadian. And so photo mode is touch to touch pad as you can see there. Let's jump right into the gameplay. Let's see what we have to do in protector mode. Save the last humans. So I believe protector mode is that basically you have to protect humans. That is your goal here. Is that you that's all you're doing is protecting humans. Which I see there is a human over here, I believe. Maybe? Yeah, right here. So yeah, there's gonna be these little ships carrying your humans, which you're gonna have to save as many as possible, I'm assuming. I haven't really looked into the into protector mode as much as I should have before, because I, I like to join all my reviews and stuff I like to do as you guys would. Uh, jump right into it, no knowledge, I don't read the press releases that often actually, stuff like that. I like to do it the same as a consumer would jump into something, which I suppose a consumer would be looking at their product more often than not, but hey, you never know. So what I can tell you of this mode so far from just playing is that it, I like the nice little fat, the new pace of action is that instead of just trying to survive yourself and doing humans as an afterthought, and it appears that when you kill things it takes down that counter in the corner over there. Um, I like the fact that you have to actually collect humans. It gives a new pace to the gameplay uh, that wasn't seen before. So I'm assuming I have to kill those enemies to make a new human pop, which actually would be splendid. Nine, eight, and let's got a time. That might actually be a countdown timer. Let's see here. Um, I have no clue because I don't see any humans on board. Oh, there's a human right there. There's a third human, and that's completing the level. So yeah, and then you can get attribute ups now. I forgot about that. That's a new feature. 
So I got another human here now. I don't see where I can put them in. I, maybe I have to just pass the level or something. But if you see there, the world is actually turning. So it looks like the new levels are actually changing as you play. It's a cool little feature. Okay, so we got another human activated there. Another one just dropped in. Let's hit him up a little bit so he doesn't lop all in the lava. And let's go turn him in ASAP. Okay, we can get that one right there. Okay. And we got another human plus, whatever that is. So like I said, so far this mode is definitely in be better pace of action than what we've seen before. Like, before the humans were just an afterthought. Oh god. Uh, we're just an afterthought given just to make you boost your score a little bit, get trophies of course if you're into that like I am. But, yeah, I like the fact that you actually have to collect things now. It makes it, it makes it far, it's a slower gameplay but it takes more strategy. And you see I sucked on that one as you see one of my friends there just completely killed me on that. But anyways, and then look at, let's see photo mode real quick. So photo mode, oh, you can actually completely go into photo mode. This is amazing. Like you can actually, compl I thought it was going to be limited down to what you could see, like, you know, as the gameplay, but no, you can completely go into this. Like you can see, zoom into the action, zoom into all the particle effects. That's a little cool little photo right there. That could be like a wallpaper or something. Um, you see, since that's the explosion area, you can just zoom in like that, see all the particle effects over there, get a nice little like action piece somewhere down here. Yeah, there's a lot you could do with the photo mode if you take the time to learn it. Um, I wonder if you can, you can't, no. I wonder if you can actually like flip the camera, that would be nice. And then I could take a picture of that and then flip it so it would get a nice little view. But anyways, let's get out of that and we'll go to the next mode. Single player, and let's check out Commando. Once again, I do not know what it's, how going into this mode is, so we'll see. Start game. Oh, you're. This is. Wow. This is. This is like Defenders. I was not expecting this at all. This is a. You. It's now. A pro, it's not a platformer, but it's now. Just like the old school arcade game, I think it was I think it was called Defender, which Housemark is working on a sequel to if I'm not mistaken. At least they teased one. And it's now a little tower defense game, this is cool. Def nice little chip pace of action here, especially that you're playing as a new human. And you have new phases, as you have these little things that follow here, that are gonna shoot you instead of just shooting your house. Oh no, they're gonna shoot your house. Wow, that's lovely. So just like, so it's kind of like Parachute, that's the game I was looking for. Oh, I'm gonna die, no. So this is little mode, is, yeah, I'm actually liking this one. So there is still the little bonuses, just like in the regular Resogun. But, this one definitely does teach you to, it is like, okay, the big thing with the, old, with the regular Resogun modes, is that you always want to move. This one seems more of, you want to shoot as much as possible and not kill a lot which like I said is a new there's a nice little change of pace here but of course I am actually a fan of the twin stick twitch shooters like Resogun mainly is I'm, I'm enjoying this but it's it's definitely changing the gameplay so if you're in love with Resogun expect this mode to be exactly like it uh, don't expect that and looks like I just completed a challenge so that's how you do, so that's where the challenges appear, it appears like a trophy would, except on the bottom left instead of the top left. Ooh, my house just got hit, that was the first hit. So I've always been decent at tower defense games, especially like top down ones like this, oh not top down, um, at the side ones like this. I'm not a huge fan of the top down ones, but I'll try them, nonetheless. This one is, this game actually, this mode is actually a nice little change. Um, I'm hoping they, I'm hoping they bring more DLC to Resogun. I don't think they are actually. I'm not sure actually, but from my understanding, it was these two in the season pass, and that was it. But I guess we'll see. Uh, Housemark is known for dropping new little DLCs every once in a while for the other games. Like no one was expecting some of the other games to get ported to where they did, but they did, and everyone loves it because of that. Housemark is definitely one of my favorite developers in the sense of uh, arcade games. Uh, Super Stardust is one of the best games I've played ever. 
Uh, I just wish they made the new one. I haven't played the new one yet, Superstars Ultra, but it can't be that much different because honestly, Superstars has always been a key little thing. It just it's the same game, just ported over with new modes, you know? And once again, I do terribly. Um, let's just check out the photo mode again. Like, see, this would have been a cool little photo. Uh, oh, I wish that boot, that bonus wasn't there, because that kills it a little bit. And you can just follow it with it and just boom. But anyways, that is the majority of Resogun Defenders, I believe. Um, we will check out the extras again just to see if I unlocked anything with those challenges. I don't think I unlocked any concepts. I think it would have came up with that. But, um, see that those two challenges that I did complete gave me a halfway to the next rank. And that adds a lot of depth into the game so you actually have a reason to come back. You now have a reason to level up. You know, just keep earning stuff. And yeah, it just adds a lot. This DLC actually adds a lot of content. Maybe it not be in gameplay content, but it adds reasons to keep playing. And that actually is refreshing because before it was just playing for fun, now you can play for a reason. So once again, everybody, thank you for watching this video and everyone in the cast right now for keeping up with me while I more far, while I keep talking about this. But anyways, take care, guys. Peace out. Okay.